Hey, you guys. We're going to roll the dice and see who this reading's for. Spirit, who is this reading for? This, this, this jock that this high priest or priestess needs to be aware of. Who is this reading for? It's for Aquarius. So Aquarius. Aquarius, you might be a, you know, a priest or a high priestess. I didn't have enough S's anyway if it, to spell priestess. You only get two. So this, this is man or woman, okay? So this is about you being a high priest. And it says this, it says, baby, and it says, run, and it says, no, N-O, okay? I'll tell you what I think it means right here in a second. Then we have sale, like a jail sale. And then we have So pay attention. Then we have just. See the J at the top where my finger is? J-U-S-T. And then we have M-A-T-C-H. See, M-A-T-C-H. So we have just, match, Put it back right so I'll read it to you in a second. And then we had Jock. And I'm using that C with match over there. J O K, but it's J O C K. I'm using the C that I just had with this over here. So here's what I think it says, you guys, you guys and gals out here. I think it says I think it says high priest or high priestess. Uh you need to run away from this jock. Somebody's got a jock, some arrogant, loud, uh, jockey jock, like they, their jock straps really wound tight around them and they act like an asshole. <laughs> That's what I think. Okay, so anyway, it says, High Priestess, you need to uh, uh, run from this jock. And it says something about there is no match there is no match they're just a baby there's no match between whoever you're you like and this other dude so i don't know this reading's for but all i'm telling you as a chorus is there's no match because one of them's an asshole loudmouth jock and one of them is a priest Look, you know, they can see through the veil like you, maybe. If you're watching me, then you'll understand what I'm saying. But, but their eyes, this jock is getting ready to uh, run their eyes to the cell. That's what it is, okay? They're getting ready to be put in jail. Ugh, that's all I'm getting from this Egyptian puzzle time today, you guys. I don't know who it's for, but don't go anywhere. I'm not done. And then I got, I got monk or nun. This is a past life reading too, all right? Monk or nun, Native American. Miracle. High priest or priestess. Ain't it funny how it all ties in? I know it is, you all. I love how spirit does with me. And I'm just, I'm figuring out how to title my readings and stuff. So don't get mad at me, you guys. I know I'm trying. And we got magic right after that. And then we got alchemy and empowerment. I love spirit, don't you guys? Okay, and then underneath, we got passion. 
and earth fertility trans transition greco roman karmic relationship wisdom Oh, you're a damn magical unicorn, Aquarius. Now, here's a scribe, you magical unicorn, Aquarius. It come out for you. See, because it knew. All right, so what it's saying is, I think back, this is about your faith, monk or nun, or maybe somebody back many years ago, you know, past life reading, somebody was a monk or nun, and... You had a passion, and the frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within its, this intensity, moving us from chaos to the calm of its core, where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. So, your spirituality and, and your faith has, has lit this passion inside you to that's taught you, you know, that uh, this frequency of passion, it has intense emotions. And and maybe you used to be a Native American, you know, back long ago. And I've got a few Native American cards that I made with my deck. So, yeah, I believe that, you know. And I also believe that this is about earth healing at the moment and the frequency of earth activates our deep connection to this physical plane by showing us the beauty of all aspects of our great mother and revealing the more ethereal spiritual aspects of our nature see spiritual native american earth healing spiritual oh told you and this was a miracle a miracle and fertility so miracle, it supports our belief in ourselves as a part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible, yes. And that's what the Native American believe. They believe in their self. And frequency, I mean fertility, invites us to be more open, more courageous, more creative, and more joyful than we were before, you know. That's why you're feeling all this joy and passion and, you, and you're connecting outside in the earth. You're getting all this energy uh, sent to you from uh you're native americans and you might have used to be a high priest or high priestess way back long ago you know and you're transitioning look transitions underneath this and what it says is the frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence and our lives so that we can learn to let go surrender to the process and allow transition to occur with ease and grace so it's telling you right now you better let go and or you already did because above right beside high priest priestess is magic see yeah you got the magic it's it's taught you and the frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment to move toward possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as we can imagine all that is required is our belief in their manifestation. So you got to believe in your manifestations. If you're manifesting, trying to manifest a business like I'm trying to do, you know, like for tarot, that's what I'm wanting to do. I want to work for YouTube. Just keep believing it in your manifestations and listen to those frequencies, you know. That's why I got these frequency cards because I like them. I believe that. And Greco-Roman. So you, you used to live back in Greek-Roman times, you know. Somebody also did too, you know, and alchemy. The frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. See? See? 909. So, each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemists to perform their miracles of transmutation. You're transmuting all that. You're transmuting all this energy from this karmic relationship into your business good for you or into whatever you're all doing at the moment whatever you're all doing keep doing it because it's doing good you're going to receive a miracle and and you're going to be seen as somebody that has a lot of spiritual knowledge i don't know okay you're birthing it your birth this is a miracle this what this passion is a earth miracle you're a Native American spiritualist, high priest, priestess. You saw through the veil. You was a, a Native American and even could see through things. 
you know, and, and that's why you need to not, you need to go with this transition, you know, because you're the one birthing it. It's what it said. You've alchemized it. And and your empowerment come come after that down karmic relationship. See, it's trying to give you empowerment to move away from somebody. So empowerment supports our ability to show up fully and completely, uniting us with others in the deep trust that we are all connected through the same source. We are, you all. You better You better believe it. Yes, even karmics, we're all we're all connected, you know. We're all connected, and this is about empowerment and ever and us using our wisdom. Remember, our wisdom to show up fully and completely, uniting us with with others in the deep trust that we're all connected through the same source. Okay. So what it's saying to me is, you know top line reading it that way it said you know this was about your spirituality or your religion and uh you know you're a more spiritual person like a native american and you've you've had a lot of miracles in your life you believe in miracles you've seen miracles because you're a high priestess so you can see through the veil you know there's magic all around and you know that the world is magical and you can alchemize and empower yourself and others by showing them that this passion lies deep inside of all of us and and uh, we're all connected in this earth plane all right anybody that's alive and even us dead and even the dead people you know we're all alive and we've all lived and whatever and energy don't die is what i'm saying but we're all connected and and we're and anybody can birth and be more creative and joyful if you let that passion out okay and and then you got to Remember that when you're transitioning, you gotta have a deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence in our lives so that we can learn to let go and surrender the process, and that's what you did. And 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 uh, you surrendered and you surrendered to maybe with ease and grace this Greco-Roman this is somebody this karmic partner of yours, or used to be ex, whatever it is, they followed you. Y'all used to live long ago in Greek, in Greece, Greco-Roman era, okay? And and then y'all reincarnated the, uh, again this time, and you use the wisdom to have self power and get your ass out of that. And good for you. I'm proud of you. Good for you. Whoever you are out there today, and I know it's going to, you know, it's going to help somebody out there. Somebody out here, you guys. I know it's going to help somebody out here. Let me see what I can get, okay? Spirit, who is this person? Can you give us like a, a direct, like, is it an aunt, uncle, or daddy, mommy? Who is it? All oh, weed, it says. And look, it said weed. And meth heads involved. <laughs> so maybe you're helping people that's that's on drugs, and I I hope I can help you all because I don't know, but it's crazy how things pull out for us, Aquarius. I it, it already pulled out for us to let you know I'm true over here. Okay, I'm true over here. And there I saw Pice life. Spirit, spirit, who is it? Please help us, please. We love you, spirit. We love you, spirit. And thank you, thank you very much. We thank you, thank you. We thank you so. We thank you for... I'm going to get some more. We thank you for everything you show us. Spirit, spirit. you guys don't you go nowhere now i love you all and i'm trying to help all of us okay you know about me and my collective we love you so please 
please help us tell us something today. Spirit, spirit, we love you so. Oh, we love you, love you, love you so. We love you, spirit, we love you so. And we love you, love you, love you so. I love spirit, don't you all? <laughs> 15, 15 just passed. 66, you know, that's about uh, harmony and... You know, Virgo is number six, and what else is it? Uh, it's about humanity, okay? Is that all the messages? One fell in my thing, in my lap, hang on. Spirit, spirit, help us please, show us who it is, please. the states in here and some of these I don't know what it's gonna pull out to you guys. But there's gonna be a few messages here. Alright you guys that's all I'm gonna get. Spirit said I'm gonna help you guys. Don't you go anywhere. Don't you go you sit right there and let me tell you something good. Tell. Oh God! It'll tell us. It might tell us who is against us by the message. It you should be able to know. Okay. Damn, you guys, I'm a getting it. I'm a getting it. You guys, I'm a getting it. The best I can get it. <coughs> All right, so look here, Aquarius. Look here, Aquarius. Aquarius, I love us. Do you love us? This come out last time for us. Hey, it did. So what does that tell you? And somebody is only wanting to hook up with you. I see it in the floor. It fell down there, Aquarius. There's only hookup vibes only with that person, okay? So keep in mind, but you're receiving triple trine blessings for your sacrifice and your energy for others that's what you're getting oh thanks we thank you we'll take it won't we i'm aquarius i am too so you're receiving great luck and magical powers do exist look magic see how much spirit is trying to teach you all i'm true look magic magical powers yes i mean sometimes i can't read as good as some of these other readers you all but i am trying and i hope that the ones that do watch me see that i am trying you know but believe in your magic it, it, it exists and something about underground a cancer underground so maybe so maybe you've taught a cancer that magic is real and they've went underground because they know you're getting ready to receive a, a lot of money triple trine blessings great luck it says, I can't give you an answer because I don't have an answer for myself. Maybe that's what this cancer's up here saying that went underground. And maybe somebody lives in D.C. Rumor has it, she or he loves you too. Okay, so whoever you're all inquiring on, they must love you. I don't know who this is for, you guys. You got to really, I, I can't say that these readings are for everybody. I, I just want y'all to take little bits and pieces, you know, to help you. That's that's all it is. I'm not telling y'all what to do because I don't believe in that. I believe everybody has free will to use their own brain, all right? And it says we can run the world together, baby. Oh, wow. We can run the world together, baby. Put that over on a great look. Something about weed. Maybe that's why they can't give you an answer. They're high. They're they're high too much on weed. It feels like depression when you walk into certain places. Ooh. Maybe when you get around that cancer, it feels like depression. I don't know, but it's warning, warning, warning you, warning you to pay attention of why it feels like depression because somebody loves you. Somebody loves you, and, our, and it was making you feel, you was feeling everybody's energy, wasn't you? Yeah, you was. And, and, and spirit, was, spirit moved you away from somebody, and it said, I told you, Daddy, about people was trying to kidnap me or stab me or sell me, and that's the truth. Yeah, yeah, told you. I'm warning you right now, Papa. 
my old man. Yes, people was trying to kidnap me or stab me or kill me or R-word me or sell my organs. I don't know what they're trying to do, but they did that to me down there at my old job. And and I done talked about it. You have to look at my other readings. I'm not talking about it every day, but they're in regret. This person's in regret for, for, for sending somebody to do that to you. It says, forgive. I'll forgive you, but I ain't gonna forget. That's what that means. I'll, I forgive everybody that's done me wrong, but I'm not going to forget. And happy anniversary from a past over loved one. Happy anniversary out there today, you guys. Somebody wants to tell somebody out there today. And happy birthday if you're all Leo's watching this. Uh, I love y'all. It says you have an, an image to uphold, and this group of people are trying to get you to act out of character, and, and they keep spreading lies and rumors on you. Warning. Warning. Keep your image upheld. Because these people's trying to take you down over your practical truths. They're envious. They're envious of you, Aquarius. They're envious because you're the star. That's why. Uh, and you have faith the future is bright. Dreams do come true. Positive changes that brings an end to challenging times. The light at the end of the tunnel. I wrote that out of that. Angel Tarot. You know, he's Angel Tarot. That's why I wrote it off that card, okay? It says you're, uh, somebody's unwilling to tell me the truth. Somebody's unwilling to tell y'all the truth, Settler. It could be a cancer or your partner or a dad. That's all the names I, or things I see right now. It says on a full moon, go out and... It says on a full moon, somebody goes out and calls for you their love. Oh, wow. Something about baseball bat. Star, did you use a baseball bat one night and that person was wanting to you they loved you? I don't know, you might have. What's love got to do, got to do with it? Who needs a heart when a heart can be broken? What's love all got to do? <laughs> Somebody's in regret because this person ain't never had love, uh, have anybody love them like you did. Somebody needs to go check out Golly River Bridge in Somersville, West Virginia. It's so tall you can't see the water below it. It's cool, you guys. You need to go see it. And it says, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, whoever's watching this. Happy birthday to you. It said it's for Aquarius, but it's Leo season right now. But, so whenever you see this, just happy birthday to you. Whenever the damn day is, it don't matter. I'll still say happy birthday to you, okay? Because hard work really pays off. It does, you all. Warning, warning, hard work pays off. Warning, it's warning you the other woman. Look, it's warning you the other woman is this. Warning, the other woman is a cancer. Told you. I told you that's why that cancer energy picked up all around. I mean, I know some cancer lady. She just didn't like me in general. Her, you know, but I worked with that people. But I always thought that some cancer around wanting somebody or want my old man. Yeah, I believe he used to court a cancer. I don't know when her birthday was. These people that he used to court you all. So I don't know. But I know one thing: if they try fucking around over here. I don't know, but it says something about underground. So my old man works underground. Are you listening? So they might, I don't know what that means, but it doesn't matter because spirit will let us know. Don't worry, you guys. You're over here jumping for joy. You, you have learned from your mistakes and you've, you've healed from it and your angels are protecting you and you all out here. Don't worry. As you move forward, realize that this connection was meant to have a huge impact on your life. Acknowledge and identify why the connection happened to you, and, and, and you get to decide why, duh. And somebody, they broke your heart, fallout, they broke your heart. It could have been a cancer you fell out with that broke your heart. And somebody says, I miss my intellectual match. Oh, that's Divine Masculine misses his intellectual match. It's no frickery and trickery situations. No, no, we don't want them. Warning, no more of them. Change the way you do your business and you will thrive in your life. So whatever business you're all doing right now out here, of course, is change the way you do it and you'll thrive. 24-44. Truth is, it's it's all up to you. Gain your strength and courage and go get it. You gotta go get it. 
that's that's the, that's something about business. You got to go get it. Shit, now don't act like y'all had no clue what's going on when y'all was the down one starting a drama. Karmic partner, it says. The universe is giving you beginner's luck with your new business, and you'll be a success. Wow, it said two or three times I will be. I know I'm going to be you guys. I know, because I, cause I have faith and belief in that magic card said to, remember? And I want y'all to do the same thing, and I want to tie you up, Divine Feminine, and explore your body. Oh, God, 2525, he wants to tie you up person that lived in Virginia. Oh, Divine Mask wants to tie you up. Maybe you, you'll live around D.C., Virginia, and Maryland. And somebody in Arizona. Somebody wants to tie you up and play with you, you guys and gals, whoever you are. I don't know. <clears throat> but cords has not been cut and they need to be cut soon. So, you need to cut cords with some person in your life that started a lot of shit. And I don't know. It's some. Maybe your man, Aquarius, needs to cut fucking ties with this other woman and get the fucking energy out of your house. That's what I fucking think. The whole story just meant, okay? Uh, and uh, somebody's a spiritual gangster here to teach. And there's a grandma that needs to get the situation in hand. So there's a grandma that needs to get a baseball bat and say, come on, you son of bitches, pow, pow. I hit, I take my baseball bat and hit the outside with it. If I hear somebody creeping around the house, I'll take that baseball bat and I'll hit it two, two against the concrete and say, come on, you freak with me, I'll kill you with my baseball bat. Oh, wow. But anyways, uh, you're, you, you might have had a fallout with a cancer, but I think uh, this cancer is the other woman. And um, and that cancer said, what's love got to do with it? Yeah, well, I mean, what's dick got to do with it, ma'am? What, what, do y'all understand, people? If you don't love somebody, why would you be with it? Think. For dick? Oh, I need your dick. That's so stupid. I, I don't like women like that. I really fucking don't. It about makes me puke. It about makes me puke. Somebody needs to go check out Golly River Bridge, like I told you, and somebody's unwilling to tell you their truth because because they know they ain't cut that cord with that stupid old s slutty other person, and they broke your heart. That's the truth. Truth is what I just said. Truth is it's up to you to gain your strength and get the fuck out, okay? And somebody misses their intellectual match. It feels like depression because she loves him too. That's why it feels depressed because... But but it said earlier, what's love got to do with it? Yeah, you're, you 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 actually love your partner. This other person doesn't. They just want money, money and dick. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary to whoever's anniversary it is. Happy anniversary and happy birthday to you. On a full moon, somebody says they love you. They call for you, and, and they said. Uh, they forgive you, star. They forgive you, star. And they might want to smoke some weed with you. But you can't get, uh, I can't give you an answer because you don't know an answer about all this shit that's going on underground and unbeknownst to you. And you're a spiritual gangster. And it is warning you that there's a bunch of envious devils around you at the moment. Could be your practical truth is pissing off somebody in Arizona. <laughs> and it could be that Divine Masculine wants to tie you up in this new moon, this full moon. Full moon was last night, the 11th, and it was in Aquarius. So maybe Friday tonight they'll be coming sniffing around for you. Now, listen, what I'm telling you. And the universe is giving you beginner's luck with this business. And, uh,. Start change the way you do business so it'll be better. And you can run the world together, baby. Hard work pays off. You're jumping for joy and they're in regret. Uh, you got magical powers. Great luck. And you're receiving triple trine blessings. Aquarius. Aquarius is that's from Virginia and D.C. And uh, where else it said? Arizona. Definitely you guys. Yeah, definitely you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to 
think of what to do. What's a tarot message? Somebody might feel burnout and overstressed at the moment and you need to release because you got the weight of the world on your shoulders. Somebody is might be feeling having that burnout feeling, ten of wands upside down. So you need to uh, release that energy. What else? Seven of Cups. Oh, because you might have had a lot of options. Seven of Cups. This is about you got new possibilities, but you know this could be an illusion. You need to meditate on it before you have a decision. Make before you make a decision. You need to listen to what I just told you. Told you. Oh, somebody wants to come tell you something. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is about your mental energy. You you got your innovation. You know this is a thirst for knowledge that you have. You're curious. Somebody is curious if you got more possibilities. Uh, somebody thinks you got a, a lot of options. And maybe you don't. And it's a lot of pages coming out. Page of swords, page of cups. Happy surprise, you're a dreamer. This is about sensitivity and your intuitive messages. So you're getting intuitive messages that... Um, Somebody think you're getting into the message that somebody thinks that you got another person on the side, and that's what it is. And it's saying, but you just gained clarity by me telling you just now, and that's the truth. You know, this is about fairness and balance. And look, fairness and balance, and it could be with the King of Swords. You know, and this is because you're disciplined. This is about you tell the truth. You tell the truth, mental clarity, you know. It's just a, you have the authority and the intellect to go after whatever you're needing to do, ma'am and sir. And three of cups, maybe you want to connect with somebody in your community, but and that's okay. You're wanting to connect with this friend of yours, friendship, that's what it is. You're wanting to connect with this friend of yours in the community that supports you and your beliefs and and y'all had a lot of delayed success and failed plans and and y'all feel empty at the moment and feeling stagnated because y'all can't be together and and the judgment is look judgment oh god's judgment you know you've been reflecting on you've been reflecting on this friendship and 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 been trying to you've been very disciplined to find clarity and you just want to have a happy surprise with this friend and you're you, but you've went through a total transition and you're going through an awakening you know and you got a decision to change and go towards that person you know you can talk to them you know and because they're wanting to give you a, an abundant life is what it is and it's about luxury success independence prosperity you're going to have prosperity when you get enough balls to go towards this friend that makes you happy because the truth is, if you don't get off your eyes and listen to this intuitive messages that you keep getting about uh, this uh, uh, this curiosity that you have for this person, if you don't go towards and talk to them and about this um, new possibility that you all could have with each other, you're going to you're going to get burned out and you're going to start being stressed. Yeah. What's the outcome though? Is it good, please? Ace of Pentacles. Outcome, Ace of Pentacles. You're manifesting abundance and prosperity in a new venture. See, I told you, told you. So you're gonna, you got to get off your ice and go towards that person now, and there's nobody that can do it for you. Only you can do it. Are you listening? And look, you got the damn strength to do this. You got the strength to do this, and it could be you're wanting to be in a relationship with this person so this is a transition it's telling you to change and move towards that person because this is about your creature comforts and your financial security okay okay you guys all right well that's all i want to do you guys spirit can we have one of these uh, what's a message I need to tell the people today, Spirit? 
We all have a guide that's deep inside of all of us. Your guide is trying to show you that you need to trust the guidance deep within and listen to those whispers of self. Listen. Now, you need to pay attention. It's got, they're trying to guide you to something good, and you need to listen. Oh, and you, when you tap into your divine mind, that's when you get downloads for a source and infinite spiritual knowledge. Listen. Listen, she's telling you the truth. Now, these are my ideas. Nobody has permission to steal, and I made a little alpha alpha higher. Right? Mm. So, uh, listen to those whispers, okay? And because you're, you, you're a person that knows you have a divine counterpart uh, and a spiritual partnership from God, and, and this person wants to come to you, they don't give a shit what anybody says. No, they do not give a shit. And, and, and this person that you love so much, your spiritual partner or, you know, your twin flame, your divine counterpart, they know that you got to cut your feelings off to people that had no feelings for you. And, you know, they know they know that you had to cut a lot of people off that might have sexually abused you when you was young and, and you know, trauma bonded with you. And, and, and... They're wanting to let you know that there was some dudes that got paid by older men to come and spy on your eyes. They're wanting to tell you that they did stalk and they got paid to stalk and gawk you. This, your, your friend is wanting to tell you that. And your friend's wanting to tell you that your love is purely comfort to this individual and they've never felt a pure, true love before. And they want to build a comfortable life with you now, Aquarius. And I'm going to leave it like that and look on the bottom because that's what you are, baby. Look here. Because now some somebody's wishing they had not said stuff about you because they're seeing your true light shine bright, see? So that's all that it means. It says, listen, pay attention to the numbers. Go towards your person. They're coming towards you. You don't have to do shit. It said they're coming towards you. They know that you might still have to cut your feelings off to somebody else. And it could be some dudes that got paid to stalk and gawk you. And your love is pure and they ain't never felt true love before. And they never seen somebody shine so bright as you, baby. And they love you and they don't want nobody in this world but you. And now that's all I know, you guys. And I love you and I hope this helps you out there today. And I'm going to get off here. Peace. Bye, Aquarius. Hit subscribe. I need help.